So in the previous video clip, um, I looked at uh, present value of a bond and I examined uh, how we might estimate, um, how do we estimate the value of a bond using uh, present value of a new annuity. So we could look at that for a moment and um, in particular I looked at, I examined uh, how we applied an annuity structure to, to estimating the value of a bond. So um, if we go back into uh, the module itself or go back into the uh, type of example we were looking at, we could consider the value of a, an instrument where we could take, let's say, we're looking at a 6% coupon bond thousand dollar face three years to maturity and discounted 5.6 percent then using um, using this piece of code here we could work out the value of the bond but essentially what's happening here is we're applying a present value of annuity where we're taking 1 minus 1 plus r uh, divided by m to the power of negative the number of years divided by m being the frequency of the compounding or the coupon payment being made and then in addition we take the face and we discount that separately from the stream of coupons um, however we could make the same type of calculation using a loop and just to examine that for a moment so we could consider this uh, function here where we have the uh, present value again of the bond uh, and we're using a loop um, we identify a coupon so as before we have a coupon type structure coupon is equal to face time so if the face was a thousand and the coupon was six percent and the frequency of compounding was 2, then we would have 6% by 1000 would be 60, divided by 2 would be 30. Now again, the same type of structure here. But instead of using an annuity here, what we set up is a chain or a loop of calculations. So we initialize, we say, okay, let's take we create a, a variable called price and we initialize it with the value of zero and then we say set that price equal to the coupon times this discount factor but we're going to discount a number of times we're going to discount over uh, if it's a three-year bond if we go back into the example let's take this particular bond structure here in this instance we're going to discount the bond it's been discounted for a three-year period so let's increase the we're going to discount it for a three-year period but because it's been discounted twice a year or the coupons are being added twice a year it's three by two so there are six periods of coupon payments and if we take what would initially have been present value of uh, an annuity, in this instance, we're taking the present value of each coupon and going back through the process for each i. So i is set to 1 to 2 times the 3 years. So if it's the coupon is being paid twice a year, M is 2, and T is the number, the maturity of the, the bond, so in this instance, 3 years. So each year, every 6 months, okay, we're going to discount the coupon, which is equal to, in this case, would have been 30. And we're going to discount that for at 6 months at one year, at 18 months, at two years, at um, 30 months, and then 
uh, 36 months or three years. And each time we execute, because it's going through a loop, if you like the price variable here acts like a bucket and it's collecting those present values or discounted coupon payments and that goes then into that bucket and then we say okay the present value of the bond so the function finally to execute the function we set out here what is this function asking us to do it's saying pick up the value that's in this bucket this price and then add on the face discounted for the time period involved so it's um, if you go back to the actual numbers would be discounting the face uh, at one plus the rate of interest now the bond the first calculation here so replicates the present value of bond M with those variables is replicating the calculation we made here and we get a thousand and ten ninety so basically if you take this down a notch this function corresponds to the VBA code set out here uh, next time in this cell it's this function PVBM loop and Let's take that down a notch. This time the function more or less coupon estimated the same way. The face is estimated the same way. But instead of using a present value annuity factor to discount the coupon, we set up a loop. And at each stage of the loop, we're discounting individually the coupon payments. And okay, so when we worked it out, as here, when we apply that code, we get a thousand and ten ninety-one. So, using this loop type structure, we can replicate or get exactly the same type of result as was obtained here using the present value value of annuity. Okay, so the loop structure that we have embedded here, okay, is exactly the same. So, if we go back into the visual basic and then look at module 2 we can see that the present value of using the loop um, is replicates this set of code here provides us with the same results as were obtained here using the present value of annuity factor the reason why I developed this loop is not because the present value of annuity factor isn't of itself um, practical uh, but basically because uh, we will need to set out a loop type structure when we move on to examining duration which I'll do in the next video clip